craft fair coming up very soon and I need to make some signs, but not the normal type of signs saying this is a pound or this is five dollars or this is twenty dollars, hundred dollars. I need some signs that are going to attract people and get people talking to me. First thing I do before I do anything with these signs is I give them a little sanding to make sure that they're all lovely and clean. And then I give them a wipe over with a baby wipe and let that completely dry before I do the next stage. These ones, what I want is quite a glittery background to them. So I'm gonna pour some glitter into those. If you're a shy person or you're quite busy, these are great conversation starters. So what I'm using is the J-Diction Times 3 UV resin here. The reason is I want these two not yellow and that will really keep them looking great. Big thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. And if you'd like to become a member or buy me a coffee just to say thank you for any of my videos, the links for that are in the description below. So I'm pouring my bases, I'm using glittery bases with quite contrasting colours because that's important because that will really help these signs to show up. Going over it, popping the bubbles with a long neck lighter, never a torch with a silicon mould, don't forget, and then leaving these to cure. While my square signs are drying, it's time to prepare my labels. And I'm going to be making mine out of my Cricut Maker. I love it. It gives such a professional look and it really does go down well. Now, <laughs> I've gone a little bit mad. I've been using tech wrap for quite a while to buy my vinyls from and things like that, and I needed some more, so I went a little bit mad. So I bought all these colors, and the great thing for me as a colorblind person is they come with the colors written on them, and all their lovely glossy foils and things like that, they come with a protective wrap on as well, so you don't get them scratched up and things. I also bought myself some new tools because I've been wanting one of these for a while, one of these softer scrapers which is great, but a pair of tweezers and another little weeding pen needle. Now be careful with these because I've stuck this in my fingers so many times and it really does blimmin' hurt. Now the great thing about these products are they work brilliantly in the Cricut. Actually I think they work better than the actual Cricut products. The other great thing is they are so much cheaper than Cricut products. I mean you wouldn't believe how much cheaper they are and they do a really great range. I also got myself a new green mat as well because mine had got beyond cleaning anymore. So I'm going to use these and I'll show you how easy it is to weed them and why I choose this because their glue on the back of this is without a doubt the best glue and I'll talk about that when I put it on the products. I will link everything in the description below so you can get hold of it if you want to get hold of it. So look how beautiful that is cut, even with these small letters that I've done. And I know some of us have problems with the cutting, but it really does make a difference. It also makes a difference how sticky your mat is, because if your mat isn't very sticky, then you're not going to get a great cut. Now I like to weed everything while it's still on the mat, because I just find it easier. And I cover up my mat with the piece of plastic that it comes with as well. So I weed all these little bits out. And again, it's weeding beautiful with this lovely tool. The other great thing about this vinyl is it's not hard to get off the mat either. And I think that's the backing that they use. And when you unroll it from the roll, you don't end up like some of the really cheap ones out there. You end up with a really crinkled roll and you can't do nothing with it. It's such a nuisance. I've had some like that and I've had to chuck them away. So these are all prepared and all I need to do now is add my little signage to it. I've already done some and the great thing about the tech wrap stuff is once you've got everything prepared it absolutely comes off here so easily. So this one is a Gollum Jade. So I'm going to put the word Gollum Jade there. Run my little scraper over it and then pull the transfer tape off and that's a new transfer tape as well look how easy that is stuck the glue is amazing and the other great thing is it won't lift off when you put resin in it which is also so important <laughs> because there's nothing worse than having your bits floating around all the jades are considered to be money plants so on the back of it i'm gonna put money plant there we go so we've got golem jade money plant and then this one we've got for the one i love you're the best mum variegated jade money plant and then for these larger signs which i have dotted around my stall i put this on first like this and I do it while it's still in the mold because I find that is easier for me. Give that a really good squidge down onto there and it should stick on there no problem at all. It always does. I love this sign because some of the questions you get asked are 
so random, but it starts a conversation. So there we go, that's on there now, so ask me anything, I'll make sure that that is nicely adhered to there by lightly rubbing my thumb over it. I'll carry on and do the rest, and I'll show you how I'm going to fill this with resin. Now this is really easy to dome in resin, I would strongly recommend you get the high viscosity resin, you get much better dome. And it actually stays where you want it. And I will dome both sides once this first side is cured up. Now, I'll only dome up to there. No point doming this bit. That's going to go into the soil. And this is, again, the great thing about the high viscosity when you're using it on things like this. Is that it stays exactly where you want it. So I always do an outline first. And then I just go in and fill in the middle. And look how wonderful these text wraps letters are staying there. They won't move now at all. They won't float up. The glue won't come detached and cause it to look messy. They will stay exactly where they are, which is what I love. I've used some cheaper vinyls in the past and I've had exactly that problem and that has been a pain or it's been a pain to get the stuff on. So once I've got that far, now all I'll do is, because this is wood, some of the bubbles do tend to stick to it. So I just go through and dislodge any of the bubbles that have stuck to it. Not too many. And now all I'm going to do is cure that with my UV lamp. Well my signs are all finished now and they've come out great. I love these signs and I use them a lot. Now these little block ones I just have laying flat on my stool around like that or sometimes I have them sitting up like that. I do always put it on the back as well just in case it gets turned over but it is surprising how much attention these just grab and this one especially I get so many people who come up pick this up look at it and then ask me a random question. It always gets me talking. And nine out of ten times, they generally buy something from my store. I think this one has earned me more money than anything. <laughs> well worth the time to do. And using the correct vinyl will make a massive difference on how easy it is to actually make them. So check out the Tech Wrap vinyl. And all these pots cost me next to nothing to make. I generally make these sorts of pots out of leftover resin. And these are cuttings that I make. And they're easy to make cuttings off. You just pull a leaf off, stick it in some damp soil, and it will grow. I probably grow about 100 or more of each one of them every year, and I sell out no problems at all. Now, that one with the sign in, and that sign, again, has got the name of the plant, Gollum Jade, and it's got Money Plant written on the back. If you were to buy one of those, you are more likely to buy it with the sign in. So, if I was to sell this now with the sign in... And bearing in mind, this has cost me nothing to make. Leftover resin, cutting I made. The sign probably cost me 50 pence to make at the most, which is, what, 75 cents? And I would sell that for £9, which is about $10.50. And I always sell out of these sorts of things. Same for these ones. I mean, this is one I made recently using foil. Love that. It's come out really great. Larger plant on it. And this is, again, a cutting that I've made. And that says, for the one I... And then on the back it says love. Now I don't sell these signs separately because if people want them, then they have to buy the whole thing. I would probably price that up at about £15, which is about $18. This one using resin crate, it says money plant on there and my world on the back. This one is really popular and these are selling really superbly well. And I sell this for about £22, including the plant. And what's that, about $26? And again, they sell out really well. I know that might have been a long close into this video, but it's really important to know what I'm selling stuff at and why I'm selling it. Because if you think about it, so I, I sell that pot for seven pounds like that. And that pot's cost me next to nothing to make. Dried my own flowers, grew my own plant, made that 50 pence. Let's take that out. There's the pot on its own. It looks nothing. It's pretty, but it looks nothing, doesn't it? So you're never going to be able to sell that for £7 on its own. But with the plant, a little sign in it, and now it's added value. You've now got something that's desirable, people are happy to buy, pay £7 for, and give it to someone as a little gift. Hope you found that really useful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and please push the like button if you've enjoyed this video, because it really does help my videos to get out there. There's lots more to come on how to turn in your own business, and there's also a course coming out very soon too. Take care, enjoy your resin. Bye.